figured I'd go out today and do a little scavenging treasure hunting. Dumpster dive action. I found this, peeked in a few dumpsters off camera. This is like an old uh, shower frame. It's extruded aluminum. Let's go see what we can find. Very first dumpster directly across the street from where I live. Nothing special. Those boxes are all empty, I already checked. But uh, those are great little shipping boxes. This company was having stuff shipped to them. And uh, those are just wonderful, nice little shipping boxes. So I'll probably swing back by later and get those with those shipping boxes. I don't know if a lot of people know. I'm sure the real experienced sellers know, but if you're selling stuff on eBay, you can get charged a ton more at the post office if your box is a little bigger. You want your boxes to be as small as possible. Found this little uh, wire stripper the other day off camera. Oh, I'll let this get rained on. Oh, no, it's locked. I'd let it get rained on though. I gotta keep my keep my tools dry. Well, there wasn't any surface rust on it when I found it. <laughs> Looked like it was brand new. I'll let it get rained on, but uh, it's in really good shape. Nice little wire stripper.
so that was a bank dumpster usually bank dumpsters won't have a whole lot but they throw away a lot of equipment i can tell you that i can all but guarantee that's a perfectly working little radio there also known as two points think about that i've seen people in the comments compare compare me tossing stuff in there to shooting baskets <laughs> that's true today you think about that funny thing is the only reason i found that radio in that bank dumpster i'd normally just skip it <laughs> i spun around the block because i saw a big farkle out here in the intersection spun around that way while i was there i checked the bank oh it's double double big farkle you think about that double big farkle I don't want to over fark all my viewers. I found a couple other ones already too. Every one of them has been roadkill so far today. Nice boxes in here if I wanted a bunch of big boxes. Dude, I mean, you know, if you are going to get into eBay and you're not real experienced, lots of people will take like a big box like this and just put kind of a small item in it and then pack it for all the packing materials. When really they could have just used a box like that. You know what I mean? Anyways, I don't want to bore some people that already know that. But that's the problem with making YouTube videos. <laughs> One super piece of value, one super valuable piece of information for some people. Other people are like, man, just shut up. I've known that for years, you know. So, anyway. Sometimes people will store stuff in these fences so I don't mess with it. But uh, over here, look at this. I've never seen that. Well, I don't think I've seen that before. That's the little bumper for the truck to run into. The welder at the factory was slacking. Cheap old little spot welds, look at that. Of course, I imagine a dump truck could probably hit that pretty hard still a bad weld <laughs> there used to be an industrial sized dumpster right back here that was wonderful old Kmart Failed to adapt. <laughs> I miss their dumpster, I can tell you that. side of my head that's just rainwater fortunately that's really annoying <laughs> and cold looks like a nice sunny day out here but it's pretty chilly really
Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Not a bad little guy. I might be able to find a handle. Looks like it's a handle and then they drive a nail through it or a bolt or something. Nice little spade, see what I mean by finding tools? It's just that easy. haven't noticed I'm zipping through a large industrial park Six forty-nine p.m. on a Friday it's a good time to do it there's a bunch of pork skins if people like pork rinds pork skins they probably have a vending machine inside the building those have probably been in there for years <laughs> I'm just taking a guess anyway gotta play in the puddle That's a nice sunshine on that one, what do you think? talking this kind of scrap you want to find right there I'd like to see more of that in here one time I looked in this dumpster and I found probably a couple hundred garbage disposals That's gonna be a nice number one copper insulated copper wire. Well, uh, maybe it's. I think that's all one piece. Anyways, my eyes are failing me. <laughs> Looks like there's two pieces of solid copper in there. This is mainly what the scrapyards are looking for when it does that. This one is usually gonna be number one. I can get number one for that. That's nice too. This. Uh, Six, six pounds maybe take off a pound seven pounds maybe eight pounds <laughs> I don't have a digital readout on my elbow some scrapyards will be nice and you can just give it to them just like that and they'll dock you at like a pound or so but uh, if you want to get the most bang for your buck take all that wire off of there it's not too hard it takes a little time and I found uh, this off camera. I didn't turn the camera off for this. Sika activator. That's got a weird spelling to it. What was it a car glass shop? Must be something for installing or glass or something. Thank you. 
Oh. And there goes a piece of brass down there. That's a cardboard dumpster. There's usually not stuff in here. There's something heavy in this box too. Plastic. What is it? I think it's a hot water heater in there. The old one. Maybe. Definitely not cardboard. Oh, I think like this was just garbage. tote for these I may swing back by I'll take a couple to remind me about that and this I mean sheesh look at that it's like a lifetime supply of that size of screw and stuff if I want to hang on to them it's got really good weight to it isn't it amazing how heavy stuff is you know just that doesn't weigh anything these little tiny pieces and you put them on together and it's super heavy <laughs> these, these little pieces of, uh, that might go with short steel actually just sheet tin sheet steel uh, that tote in there is so heavy I can't even lift it out I have to take them out by pieces
it's a nice piece of aluminum on there. That's a total air ball, huh? <laughs> That's a half quarter though. I hit that layup. That's uh, aluminum with uh, steel stuck to it. So it's just gonna go as breakage. It's still nice, nice scrap. It's nice and heavy. So what I was gonna say is, uh, and I forgot to say it, I almost turned the camera off. If you, uh, Want to make this your hobby if you just want to do it for fun or just to score some good usable stuff a big industrial park is not a bad place to choose you will want to do it probably on saturday evening would be the prime time friday evening's not bad you definitely want to do it like after 5 or 6 p.m. you know what I mean let all the people clear out they, they become kind of like ghost towns I've seen people at a couple places I think three places have been open so far this is a huge industrial park but as you can see there's really not anyone around here that's going to give you trouble. You could probably just Google industrial parks and find one fairly close to you. Maybe you can make it real convenient. Get it on like on the way home from work or going to a friend's house or whatever, you know gotta drive past it might as well swing through it you know what I mean if I were to recommend it I would say big apartment complexes and industrial parks primarily on Saturday evening you could do it on Sunday afternoon too I suppose that's prime time for the hobbyist if you want to just give this a try for yourself. import shop yeah import import parts for cars that's one of the cleanest cleanest dirty oil filters I've ever seen it's definitely been used Press someone emptied it out maybe I don't know it's hard to explain but those oil filters I found <laughs> they'll sneak you like you won't think something's in there and then if you let it sit like this for an hour be a puddle of oil I've learned that the hard way a few times so I got nice little auto parts here that's aluminum I'm gonna break it nice chunk of aluminum with steel no it's not that's all aluminum look at it that's the whole thing's aluminum it's a nice chunk Nice chunk. So that's 20 cents a pound. It's the scrap yard I'm taking it to. And this is going to be, oh, it's breakage. It's three cents a pound, I think. Super low. So breakage is something, is aluminum that's got other stuff stuck to it, like that plastic and that steel bolt in there. So this would be like a dirty stainless, because that's stainless steel. And it's got a steel bolt and some plastic attached to it be like a stainless breakage or stainless dirty stainless whatever 
scrapyards are different though. They'll have different terminology. Do things slightly different across the board. It's pretty amazing how different scrapyards can actually be. Even ones in the same town. That's a nice chunk. Nice chunk of aluminum. Some some of these car shops, they won't even throw away a, a, a washer. <laughs> they won't throw away anything. Other other ones just throw away everything. Probably just comes down to the owner. Doesn't want to deal with scrap metal. This is some pretty good scrap though to be throwing away. For years and years and years and years and years and, years and <laughs> they've probably thrown so much scrap in here over the last decade. They probably could have bought a old used Porsche or something. shop that actually throws it's actually the very next dumpster I came to they also throw away a lot of stuff I start talking about this insulated copper like that you start talking about some pretty decent money you know, by itself it's not really worth a whole heck of a lot but to throw that kind of stuff in here routinely over and over you know every day it really adds up. It's a nice chunk of copper right there. Even by today's ridiculously low prices, that's, that's probably a couple ounces of copper. 16 ounces, say a dollar, say, say 10 cents an ounce. That's that piece of copper, that's 20 cents right there. If you saw 20 cents laying down the ground, you'd pick it up, wouldn't you? That's a nice chunk. is is most a lot of people vast majority of people have no idea <coughs> force crack have no idea this stuff is valuable i had no idea i was totally that's all aluminum there i was totally literally ignorant to this i had no idea no idea it was worth money that's how i started doing it The thing that everyone thinks about for the most part is going to be pop cans and beer cans. Or they might think of scrappers. They might see a truck with a trailer full of 
washers and dryers and refrigerators and stoves and appliances big loads of tin you know or junk cars those will be like the three things people would think about you don't think about copper wires and basketball rims and car parts and nuts and bolts and if it's made of metal they want it tasty cake action this is like a day old bread place they'll sell here farmers will come here and grab stuff for their animals it's also a dis distribution center tasty cake sweet rolls whole dumpster oven. I don't like advertising that kind of stuff. It can be dangerous. It's usually just plastic in this. Last two times I checked it, there's been aluminum. I have two big apartment complexes I want to go through to end this video. So it's time consuming. And the sun's trying to get down to the sunset, so. Those window frames though. That's one of the things that really adds up. Like I was saying. One by itself not really worth anything but get a bunch of them together and they start weighing got a little bush here <laughs> anybody want a bush looks like they're still alive for now i'll give them a try or not give them a try but give them a chance set them up there so someone can see them little Mexican produce crate if you want the flea market or garage sale them you get a five dollar bill out of that nice handmade crate it's kind of surprising that I consider those as disposable really you know trick today see these bars they keep the lids shut it took me about four years to learn this <laughs> oh shoot I picked a bad one to do it with I was supposed to that is supposed to spin I think it's rusted it's locked up anyways this will go back and forth it's for padlocks if they want to lock it it goes back and forth when a truck picks it up it'll swing down and I'll release this bar. So if you want to release this bar, just move this back and forth. I picked a bad one there. To... <laughs> this place is an overhead door installer. They throw away almost every day. They throw clumps of that kind of wire right there away. It's a good, good wire. It's, uh, Not a braided wire, it's a solid chunk of copper wire. I'll try a bunch of it down in there. If I wanted to get it, which I don't. <laughs> they don't throw away tons of it. They'll throw away handfuls of it like that. Though.
sure is clean looking. What do you think? It looks like it's almost totally unused. Might hang on to that one. I'm here at Lake Granite. For those of you that watch my videos, you've seen this place. Oh, look at it. Oh, wow. I think they, I think they've been, they got their hose going inside now. They used to have it running up the hill out there. They must have like a sink or something. They're, they're sucking that into. I think their pump is inside that bucket there. Whatever they're doing, it's definitely working. This used to just be filled up with water. Now you can see how high it was. <laughs> that water was like to right, right about here. Right there sometimes. This cast iron sink is gone. Someone had laid it up against the wall. I was gonna come get it. I think someone else got it. <laughs> but uh that's all granite down there. It looks like styrofoam instead. Well, that's plastic, but a lot of what you're seeing in there is marble and granite slabs. There's actually some really nice pieces in there. <laughs> apartment complex another apartment complex down that way that's where we're going now put my new calculator away scavengers aren't the only ones so no there's money to be made at big apartment complexes camera battery ran out there I apologize that battery usually lasts longer than that let's see 55 56 57 59 60 60 farkle what are you doing what are you doing farkle. I'm trying to make a farkle get away <laughs> there it is farkle X Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the show, and as always, thanks for watching! Doesn't get much better than kitty cat and farkles. <laughs>